Hola, ni hao, salut, ciao, good day, hi. My name is Brian Palermo. I'm an actor and a communications specialist. Brian will be joining us at the Aquatic Sciences meeting in Honolulu. About five years now, I've been working in the science community. In 2013, I co-wrote a book uh, with Randy Olson and Dory Barton called Connection, Hollywood Storytelling Meets Critical Thinking. We started working with John Sharp and Adrian Sponberg at ASLO. This will be Brian's fifth ASLO meeting leading science communication workshops. Brian has led workshops at the Ocean Sciences meetings in Salt Lake City in 2012 and in New Orleans in 2016, and at the Aquatic Sciences meetings in New Orleans in 2013 and in Granada in 2015. The workshops we'll be doing are to help you build your communication skills because a lot of scientists don't get communication training. We're going to give you a little workshop with some improvisational theater games that'll help you present your information better and make your communication more effective. Let me address a, a big thing here. Some of you may feel anxious at the idea of doing improvisational theater games. I get it, totally understand it. But if you uh, get anxious doing your presentations as you have to do now, my workshop, these little improv games will help you get over that fear. They'll help you build up the muscle of communicating more effectively and, and it's fun. A quick example of one of the exercises I do is I, I have the workshoppers just express an emotion on their face, something simple like mad or glad or sad. And I'll have the rest of the workshop try to identify what emotion they're putting across because here's a, a basic communications tenet. How you think you're presenting yourself is very often not how you're being perceived by the audience. That's universal. It's very difficult. These improv games are great at helping you present yourself the way you want to be seen. And this happened in a, a science meeting I did two years ago. There was an environmental scientist who did not look like she was enjoying the workshop at all. She had a scowl on her face. I didn't think she was buying into the, the skills that I was trying to teach. Um, I just didn't think she enjoyed it or got anything out of it. Cut to a week later, she sends me an email and said she had just given the most successful presentation in her entire 40 year career. And uh, that was because she had used some of these presentational skills that we did in the workshop, specifically the idea of expressing her passion for her work. And it's, I know it's very often uh, uh, put down to not use any emotion in your uh, informational uh, speeches and your presentations that are science-based, but if you use some emotion, the, the passion that you have for your work, the audience will relate to that. And that's exact, exactly what happened with her, is the audience was really engaged by her allowing her passion about her, her subject. And she said it was the best presentation she'd ever given 40 years. All we're trying to do is help you with the sequence of your information. It's very important, I know, in, in your world not to dumb down science. It's very important to me that you don't get that idea. We're not about dumbing down your science. We're about making your science communication more effective. I get really excited to do these workshops with scientists because I love science as a, as a layman, as a, as, a, as a dilettante. And I respect so much what you, you guys do. I just the, the, the years and the work that go into your different disciplines. And I really admire scientists. So I love to be able to work with you guys, even on this tiny little three hour workshop and, and try to give you one little communication uh, tool that will help you better communicate your science. Um, I just, I'm a big fan of yours. So I'm, I'm hoping you'll come and spend a couple hours with me.